Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another video on the topic of eco lifestyle. So I have some more things I want to talk about with you guys that I feel like could be a pretty interesting conversation. So there's been a lot of talk on just why we're getting this expansion pack. And there's either one end of people say nobody asked for this. And then there's the other side of people that say we did ask for this. So I wanted to talk about this because I feel like there is a lot of different thoughts going around and um, also a lot of confusion. So um, I kind of, you know, did some digging, not really some digging. I literally just searched it up on Google and I found it. <laughs> so, um, basically I actually have said, I think like when basically there was the leak of eco lifestyle and then we saw like EA accidentally leaked it on their website or whatever. And then there was a little snippet on Twitter that the Sims themselves posted of the little windmill. So, um, I did a video on that. That was before we saw the trailer. It was the day before. So when I did that video, um, I'm pretty sure it was in that video. Um, I replied to some people letting them know that we actually did ask for this. Um, that was at the time when I had no idea what the pack was going to be. I just knew it was eco themed, which I know in the past, a lot of people have actually highly requested. However, I couldn't remember what vote that was. Um, I couldn't remember for the life of me. I was like, what did we vote for? Why did we vote for eco living way back? Like literally three years ago. So I looked it up and pretty much in 2017, we were voting for the pack we have now that is laundry day stuff. That is a stuff pack. And it's basically the same thing as we're voting for now. So if you guys weren't around in the community at that time, basically the pack we're voting for now is a knitting stuff pack, nifty knitting, and now has a name. And that started out from like literally nothing. And we voted pretty much for everything. So we voted that we wanted knitting. We voted for the style of the pack. We voted for everything. We voted for the name, the icon. So it was pretty much the same situation with laundry day. That pack started out with like nothing at all. <laughs> and we voted for the theme. We Then we get to vote from that theme, which gameplay items do we want? So basically we knew we were voting for a stuff pack, not a game pack or an expansion pack. So for that vote, pretty much we had a bunch of different, you know, themes to pick from and eco living one. However, we were voting for a stuff pack. So, um, we wanted an eco living stuff pack. Most of any, most of us anyways. So then once the eco living theme was decided, we got to pick what we wanted, like what gameplay we wanted with eco living and we voted on laundry. So laundry one, there was a lot of other different options, um, but laundry one. So actually it's on the Sims VIP right here. I tried to find out in the Sims community, but I couldn't find this exact type of post. So it says the Sims 4 eco living stuff wins community vote. Sim Guru Graham has just announced that the winner of the creative stuff pack vote is eco living. This stuff pack will focus on content like laundry, home technology, and solar energy. The next vote starts April 10th and that vote will determine the art style for this theme. Information on the pack that didn't win can be found here. So you can, you know, I'll link this down below and you guys can go there. So then it says, after, this is basically, this was in the vote. So this was the vote in 2017. It says, after a vote spanning four days, Eco Living has emerged as the winning theme. We've come, we've compiled the results from all of the various regions players around the world voted from. And here's what each theme placed in. So these were the themes. We had Eco Living, Starter Home, Dangerous, wedding and arcade. So from those, it completely makes sense why eco living won. Um, that makes total sense to me. I feel like out of all of those eco living does sound the most interesting or yeah, like it just, it just sounds intriguing the most out of those categories, but we're voting for a stuff pack at the time. Keep in mind. And this was three years ago. So my thing on this, the whole, you know, we asked for this, and then no one asked for this kind of thing. Cause that's what I'm seeing people say. They're either saying, this is horrible. No one wanted this. No one asked for this. When did we ever ask for this? And then people are saying we actually did ask for this in a vote in 2017. And now they're giving us what we asked for. However, we were asking for an eco living stuff pack. And that's actually what we got. It won. We got laundry which we also got like the option to do laundry outside and stuff. So that's where the whole eco stuff comes in um, and like hanging the clothes to dry. So anyway, we wanted an eco living stuff pack. We did not want an eco living game pack or expansion pack. Now, do I think this is bad? I think if this was a game pack, people would be a lot less mad in my opinion. 
maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like the reason people are so upset and disappointed is because it's an expansion pack because a lot of people feel like this was a missed opportunity in a way because we only get two expansion packs a year and usually expansion packs change the whole game. Like, you know, Discover University, I feel like even though you're just going to university, it's not like changing your everyday gameplay. It's still like adding a whole new step that your Sims do throughout their life. So it is kind of changing the whole game. And and then, because um, it's a whole new process they have to go do, I mean, if you want them to, to like get a better career in life. I don't know. It just goes with the whole like just going up in generations, different things you have to do as your Sims age. And then seasons, of course, just changes the whole overall game. Pets or cats and dogs <laughs> that, you know, you can have like an animal in every single household. And it just, I don't know. It just like changes everything instead of just changing one specific part and like not changing the game as a whole where like things are happening in one world and you go through it a couple times or maybe even just once and you don't really want to do it again. I don't know if it'll be like that, but that's just what it seems like now. So I can't really speak for what we found out in the future. I'm just speaking from how the expansion like how it appears in the trailer, basically. So I think that's why people are so upset. I feel like as a game pack, this would have been perfect. I'm not saying that this expansion pack doesn't have enough for an expansion because it definitely could. We don't know yet. We don't really know how much it has. I'm saying this, I guess, the theme of this expansion, to me, is like a game pack theme. Does that make sense? Um, I just feel like it fits with a game pack theme. Um, like it's very unexpected as an expansion pack. So yeah, I'll, I just wanted to let you guys know why people may be so upset that this is an expansion pack, even though this did win a vote back in 2017. Um, so to me, it makes sense because we were voting for a stuff pack. It was a community voted stuff pack. It's just a completely different vote. We weren't voting for a future pack. We weren't voting for a game pack or expansion pack. We were voting for a very specific thing, and it was also in 2017, so this was before we got Island Living, it was before we got Tiny Living, it was before we got so many packs, it was back when we literally had nothing eco. So I think that's also a very important thing. Now, I do understand why the Sims team would kind of look at this vote and be like, hey, this won. And a lot of people wanted it. Maybe it won by like a ton of votes, you know? Um, and maybe they're like, okay, people really want this whole like eco thing. And I don't know if that's why they put eco stuff in island living. And then they decided to go even further for whatever reason. Um, I feel like that's why they put eco stuff in island living because I feel like people maybe with a stuff pack, they didn't get enough eco living. So they're like, okay, island living is the perfect pack to add more. And then for some reason, I guess they plan to add more. I don't really know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel like it kind of backlashed. Um, probably very unexpected to the gurus because they thought they were doing something good. So I kind of feel bad because I feel like they, you know, were looking at votes, which does show that they do look at votes and stuff like that. Um, I have no idea about the newer votes, which I absolutely have loved the two recent votes we got. Um, not the ones for the community knitting pack, the other votes. We got like um, a really cool vote very recently. And then we got one that included like a whole bunch of snow related activities. It sounded really cool. But anyways, you know, they are looking back at the votes and I feel like they were looking at this and being like, okay, there's still like all these eco living um, gameplay features that we couldn't put in the stuff pack um, because laundry one, because it was all these other gameplay features that you could choose. But of course, with the stuff pack, you can't have all that. So laundry one. And, you know, I guess a lot of them, they decided to put in this expansion pack. Um, so I feel like they thought they were doing something that people would be so excited for, which of course some people are, but a lot of the community is not excited. I actually have never seen, I mean, of course, we've all seen people disappointed in packs, but I've never seen people be this disappointed in an expansion pack before. Maybe I've just missed it, but I feel like, of course, there's been expansion packs that people have felt like weren't as great. Even Island Living got a lot more complaints than like Seasons, for example. Um, but I've never seen the complaints this high before for an expansion. <laughs> I've definitely seen it this high before for like stuff packs and things like that. But as far as expansions go, this is the most I've seen. It's been extremely crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, so I just feel like they thought they were doing something good and it kind of like twisted in the total opposite direction. And I feel like, I don't know how they're feeling right now. I don't, I don't know. I, again, I feel kind of bad because if they did go back to this vote and you know, they thought it was going to be something we'd all love, 
I just feel bad. But I think, you know, if we, okay, if Island Living did not exist <laughs> and if Tiny Living didn't exist, because that's another thing that's upsetting people, people feel like um, there's Tiny Living kind of things in this expansion pack. Like there's Tiny Homes and they gave us Tiny Living first. So people are feeling like, I don't know, the people are feeling like basically eco lifestyle could have just had the tiny living stuff instead of making it a separate step pack. I'm going to go over that in a second. There's actually a comment I want to read to you guys. Anyways, I don't really know how I feel about that. I do love the tiny living stuff pack, so I'm not complaining there, but I feel like if we didn't have tiny living, didn't have island living, and also even if we didn't have the laundry stuff pack even, because of course that has some like eco um, stuff going on there, um, then I feel like this would have went over a lot better. I feel like it's because it's three years later and we've gotten all these packs that kind of have eco elements. And now a lot of people feel like this is kind of the same thing again. Like when people saw the trailer, they weren't like freaking out with excitement because they feel like it's kind of things we already seen, even though there's new stuff, it just doesn't seem... Like, for example, when you watch a Seasons trailer and you've never seen Seasons in The Sims 4 yet and it's, like, completely a new thing for The Sims 4. And you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, so, you know, so many things we've never seen anything like before. So, I feel like it's just a very different response. And, yeah. Anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today to kind of, you know... Just explain why people may be so upset even though it won a vote. It was a stuff pack community vote. So I think that's the big thing to focus on here. Um, that I feel like if it was an expansion pack vote, I cannot see it being... I mean, I don't know. I don't think there'll ever be a community vote for an expansion pack. Like, I don't think we'll ever get to make a full expansion pack. I feel like that'd be way too much. However, <laughs> if that happened, I do not think Eco Living would win for an expansion pack. I feel like it'd be a completely different thing because people don't usually want a whole expansion pack on something like that. They usually want a whole expansion pack on something that feels like it's changing the whole game because it's the most expensive pack. It's a lot of money to drop and people want something that's just makes every day playing with your Sims feel different, adds new things for all your Sims to do, changes all the worlds and everything like that. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to go over in this video, you guys. Comment down below what you think and we're going to do our notification at Pantacorn Fame Shoutout, which actually ties into this. So I picked a comment that kind of goes with this whole ego lifestyle topic. So this comes from Alcat and she said, like you said, the main issue I have with this is that it's an expansion pack. If they'd make it a game pack for $20 less, I feel like people would not be as mad. It just doesn't bring anything that new, that new to the game that would make it for worth $40. Also, I'd seen a comment on another Simmers video saying that Tiny Living was the my first step pack to this pack, but this time they just released it first so they could get away with it. So, like I've said, you know, I totally agree. I feel like the backlash would be a lot less if this was a game pack. Of course, there'd still be people disappointed, um, but I just feel like it, went, it would have went over a lot better because expansion packs, again, are things that we just want to just just be a different pack than eco living. You guys know what I mean. Like we want it to be a pack like cats and dogs, um, seasons, discover university, packs like that, even city living, even though it, there's only buildings in that world, it's still, there's a lot of things that change the whole game with that pack still in my opinion. So I completely agree that this would have went over better if it was a game pack. And then about seeing another comment on someone else's video that this is like my first pet stuff to this pack. So basically they're saying that Tiny Living is like the my first pet. Okay, so basically you know how we got cats and dogs and then we got my first pet stuff and everyone's like, this should have came with cats and dogs. This time, basically people are saying that, I've seen this said multiple times actually, so this time people are saying that Tiny Living should have been in e eco lifestyle, but instead they came up with Tiny Living first and so people wouldn't catch it. I have no idea if that is what's actually happening here. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, with My First Pet stuff, it's kind of obvious that that's what they did, but in this case, I'm not sure if that's what they did. I hope not, but people are making good points. That could be what they did. I don't know. And maybe they did it the opposite way so people wouldn't catch on to it. Um, but there is tiny living, there's tiny builds in this pack. So, um, yeah, a lot of people have said that tiny living should have been included in eco lifestyle. And again, if it was included in eco lifestyle, I feel like that would be 
something that makes people a lot happier because people love the tiny living pack. Not everyone, but a lot of people. That pack went over pretty well. People love the tiny builds and everything. And I feel like the tiny living stuff pack didn't exist and they just put it into the eco lifestyle pack. That would have been a very good selling point. So now, you know, people that see the tiny, the tiny builds the, or whatever in eco lifestyle, they're like, well, I love tiny builds, but I already have my tiny living pack, so I don't need eco lifestyle, you know? So I feel like it would have been a good selling point if someone only cares about tiny builds. Maybe they'd buy the expansion pack, but now we have tiny living, so maybe they won't buy the expansion pack. So I feel like that's a good thing to discuss. Um, I don't know, again, if that's what they were trying to do or not. I have no idea. But it is just a little bit weird that we did just get tiny living and then tiny builds appeared in the trailer. Um, I did notice that was a little bit weird. Um, I love the tiny living stuff, so I mean, I'm going to be excited about the furniture, but it is a little weird that it's separated. Um, so you guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to discuss today. And of course, thank you so much to Alcat for your comment. I appreciate you. Thank you for just, you know, leaving your thoughts, um, while also being respectful. So yeah, you guys leave your thoughts down below. Um, you can do it in a respectful way. Of course, I love having these discussions with you guys. I just don't like when there's like a whole bunch of the crazy hate and constructive criticism is 100% welcome. Positivity, 100% welcome. Negativity in like, like if you were expressing your opinion and you're disappointed, that is a good thing. It's just about not being rude and yeah. So a lot of you guys have been really great with that. So I definitely appreciate that. Thank you for just, you know, sharing your thoughts in the comments and everything like that. And um, just expressing why you're disappointed or why you're excited. Um, I love reading them and everything. So yes, you guys, I am excited to find out more about this pack. I basically watched over my video yesterday to kind of, you know, listen to everything I said, which sounds really weird to do, but <laughs> I just wanted to like make sure I remembered everything I said. And I'll, most of my video honestly consisted of the things I'm excited for, the things I'm worried about, and just not be not being able to make a full opinion. Um, so yeah, I, I, I can't make a full opinion yet. I need to see more and I don't know how I'm feeling yet. Um, I know that I'm excited for making fizzy drinks and candles and I am excited to see the world. Um, and just pretty much at this point, my only worries are that it's not going to feel like an expansion pack. It might, but I'm not sure. That's my worry at this point. And then my second worry is honestly replay value because expansion packs are very important to me to have replay value. So that's kind of my two worries at the moment, but we will see as we see more. And yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up here and let me know what you guys think about this whole like community stuff pack vote that happened in 2017. And if you think that's a reason they should have made this expansion pack, or if you think that's not a reason, of course, you guys know my thoughts and yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.